Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, here we talk about technology, mostly the things that I'm working on time to time basis and some other off topic that I'm most probably labbing. Now today's topic as you can see the link aggregation with Aruba's SD-WAN enterprise product previously known as Silver Peak. Uh, so the, the smallest mo model ECUS unfortunately it only has one LAN port and two WAN ports because of that it is not allowing uh, you to do your link aggregation and most probably that's why you're researching about it right so I do have my uh, ECXS extra small and I just unbox that uh, and, and I'm not gonna bore you with the unboxing video but let's go ahead and build that from the scratch approve that appliance and show you how to do the link aggregation but as you can see that I do have my WAN 0 and my WAN 1 already connected that's where I would be doing the link aggregation Okay, so if you are wondering why make a video on such a primitive topic, <clears throat> right? Well, LACP or port channel, port channel, ether channel, uh, these are older topic, but when it comes to um, Aruba SDN enterprise product, Edge Connect, so we do not currently support LACP when it comes to dynamically um, bonding links. Now my orchestrated version 906 we can still do link aggregation but the static LACP is supported from 9.2 version so right now I this is what I have the goal is to create the link aggregation with this device um, it could be on the WAN side could be on the LAN side we have redundant stack of switches where we would want to make sure this device has multiple links to get to my WAN or to my LAN side uh, that's the goal of link aggregation but when it comes to building the link aggregation with our device with Edge Connect um, there are two ways of doing it first you can approve this device that you can see it's ready once you go ahead and approve that then you can go back and create link aggregation and step three would be to come back and apply a deployment profile so uh, the second option would be to go ahead and connect to this appliance using its uh, um, management address and then you can go ahead and create the link aggregation and then proceed with the approval so for example I will show you the second option which is quicker I do have this one ready to go default username password admin admin I will go to configure and link aggregate so here you can add these I want to create a WAN side of the link aggregate again these names of the interfaces really do not matter you can use LAN in the WAN or WAN in the LAN so in order to create that clean um, link aggregation interfaces you need to definitely go with this but uh, before I go there let's go ahead and create our switch ports it's very basic so I'm gonna just speed this one up good thing about on is that it is faster link comes up faster but if you have mismatch in configuration you are in trouble you're gonna have some trouble so all right let's see both are connected even though we did not create our port channel so now I'm ready so go ahead and add I'm gonna do the WAN side with WAN 0 and WAN 1 and rest would be remaining same that's good apply should go through right away alright save changes this device is not onboarded with orchestrator so you should save configuration now 
I can go ahead and go with the approval process. Be patient when you click the approve. It takes a couple of seconds to the wizard to show up. There is no upgrade here, so I'm going to skip it. Manual wizard. Okay, I'm going to name this Tyler location. And bam, I'm going to specify a password. This part, you probably have seen it on other videos very simple uh, here I can deploy a profile b when zero and let's create my land side uh, leave them DHCP for now Now, as I'm doing the WAN interfaces, um, uh, this device connecting to uh, stack of switches, and then we have multiple ISP coming in to those stack of switches to provide kind of WAN circuit redundancy, right? And um, that's why I'm bonding this. I should be doing on the LAN side as well because it's going to a VSF pair switches on the LAN side so I would be creating that as well but the process remains the same so that should be all on this one and um, now let me show you the second option where I would be approving the device first and then going back and creating the link AG and you will soon see that why I call this the second option Let's go ahead and create the link AG. Wanted to point out here this particular section here, right? If it is a, a particular interface already in the deployment, let's just free them up. If it's not checked, you would have been in trouble. So as we have it checked out, let's continue with this. And what it's going to do, it's going to free up those two MPLS 1 and MPLS 2 that we selected during deployment during the approval process is going to free those up and then build it up uh, link act for us that means we're gonna have to now go back to the deployment and do some changes All right, so deployment got cleaned up. Now we're going to have to add BWAN. That is it. MPLS1. And then we're going to do two. And keep the DHCP next up normal. We're going to use 50, G, 50 megs of boost. And bam, that should take care of our problem. save changes go back to my orchestrator refresh that and let's take a look at Tyler's deployment should be clean now on the switch side you can see it's still doing both in um, bundled in port channel and uh, we do have the BWAN specified on the WAN side of the configuration again you can, can you can take the same device uh, and then you can configure another link aggregation I'm not going to create it but just walk you through for the LAN side I'm going to be LAN I'm going to pick LAN 0 and LAN 1 create that so this is it for me. I believe it made sense that why I talked about a primitive topic like uh, port channel 
um, but it is helpful to know these tricks and tips of how to do it easily quicker uh, when it comes to Aruba SD Wayne Enterprise product. Thank you very much for staying this long with me. I appreciate your support. Let me know, uh, leave a comment, and share this among with your friend who is dealing with SD WAN, and and I hope you will help them to learn, and also at the same time helping me and my channel for the effort. So until the next video, stay healthy, wealthy, and find some energy to learn something new. Thank you. Take care.